Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to make an interesting kind of plucky, weird texture, tambour thing that I love doing in Vital. So let's go ahead and go to a new preset here. And for the init, let's change this to basic shape. So we just have a sine wave and let's go to edit and let's add some interesting harmonics to kind of get a metallic-y kind of sound. So that'll work just fine like that. And we have something kind of like this. So what we can do is bring down our sustain. So we have something like that and bring this up maybe two octaves to 24. So we have a typical bell sound, which is kind of cool, but here's a cool trick here. So we go to oscillator two and let's go to factory basic shape. So we have a sine wave and let's bring the volume all the way down. Now we're gonna do a little bit of FM here. Let's use a second envelope and go here to FM to oscillator two and bring this down. So envelope two is gonna modulate this just a little bit to bring our sustain down and then maybe our decay as well. So we're getting that type of effect, but this is way too much modulation. So to bring the sound a little bit here. gives a weird interesting timbre here and if we bring up some sustain okay so now let's put this on some interesting effects it almost has like that weird stringy banjo-y kind of sound a little bit to it and it gets weirder as you add more unison but let's keep this on for one for now now let's go to our effects here and add a multiband Okay, now let's add some delays here and let's go to mid ping pong and the left side is going to be dotted here and then the <laughs> yeah dotted and then the right side is going to be one over four but not dotted just some kind of like that and EQ this a little bit here reduce our mix and a little less feedback and let's maybe get a little bit of chorus in here And maybe some reverb as well to kind of soak things up a little bit. And this is kind of up to you how big of a room you want this. So let's kind of just dial in something kind of interesting. It's pretty big here. Maybe the high cuts take that down a little bit. And the low cut give it a little bit as well. Something like maybe 115. And for this, let's give it a little bit of distortion, maybe the hard clip here. And what might be kind of cool as well is if we maybe did a little bit of pitch change or something like that. Let's maybe use envelope three and let's drag this on the pitch here and drag this down. <laughs> that might be kind of interesting. And give it some sustain here for the main envelope. And it's a very weird sound, and especially with this FM right over here, I believe that's number two. So let's go ahead and reduce the sustain. So you almost get that ringing after you hit the note. And for envelope three, we can maybe remove that. That's just kind of a cool little pitch thing. So let's set this to a filter and kind of clean things up just a little bit here. And use envelope three again, maybe for this here. It's a little bit too quick. Maybe go to the dirty here and 24, something like that. Let's 
clean up with EQ a little bit. Let's turn this guy on here. And if you don't like that ring, you can just increase the sustain. So that gives you a nice weird timbre, and if you don't like that timbre at all and you kind of just want the bell sound, just remove the modulation. And you almost have like a bell glassy kind of sound like that as well. Which does have sustain, which bells don't typically do, so if you want to kind of remove that, just go to the main envelope and drop down the sustain, and kind of dial in the decay to taste. So you have something kind of like that using additive synthesis and a little bit of FM if you kind of do want that little timbre there. So again, if you the envelope two, drag this over here, give it a little bit of amount. And you'll get that there. So I'll disable this for now and kind of leave it on the bell. But keep in mind, envelope two is the one that you kind of want to set up here or whatever it is you want to do. But that's just a cool little way to either get a bell sound and kind of turn it into almost stringy banjo y type of thing. So we're going to call this guy <laughs> Banjo Bell, I guess. I don't know. Banjo Bell. That sounds kind of stupid. Anyway, hopefully you learned something. Thanks for watching. If you want to get Banjo Bell, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.